In this video, we're going to look at the uniform convergence of bounded functions and so that the uniform limit of these bounded functions is also bounded. A background video, um, I put out a video called Sequences of Functions, Pointwise and Uniform Convergence. Now, for the theorem, suppose that we have a sequence of functions, f of n, that match from some set to the real numbers, and this for every n, where d is a subset of r. Let f be the uniform limit of, the, of a sequence of bounded functions f of n. And so that means that there's some n that bounds each uh, function f of n, and this for all n. Then f is bounded on d also. Here's a quick proof. If let f of n be bounded by m, and this for all n, and then since uh, f of n, the sequence f of n, converges uniformly to f on d, that means uh, given epsilon greater than zero, there exists an n, such that n greater than n, we have that this difference, absolute value of this difference is less than epsilon. So the, that means these uh, sequences of functions are getting really, really, really close to this uh, f of x. And this is for all x in d. So if we look at f of x, and we add zero, add and subtract the same quantity, it doesn't change it, but the absolute value inequality, or triangle inequality, says that this is less than this, but we know that this is bounded, and then for, and then for some n, you know, n's greater than that, this is less than epsilon. So th these two functions are bounded by epsilon plus m. This is for all x and d. So if uh, the function f of x, the absolute value of f of x, is bounded by the maximum of the first capital N points, you know, f, absolute value of f of 1 to f the value of f of n x, and epsilon plus m. So the maximum of this bounds the, the function f of x. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Uh, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.